In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to up your guac game with this creamy guacamole recipe. Hello and welcome to Home Trek. My name is Cami. for those of you I haven't met yet, and in this channel, we make videos to help you upgrade your life, whether you're a homebody or a world trekker. We're continuing on today with our dip series. The full playlist of all of those recipes are in the card above. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We come out with new content for you every week. As I mentioned in my last hummus video, I just recently got a new Cuisinart food processor for my birthday, so I'm gonna be using that to make today's recipe. I've put together everything that you're gonna need in the description below so you can follow along. So to start things off, you're gonna take your garlic clove and you're gonna to wanna to release it from its little garlic shell. So a quick, easy tip to get it out will be to take your knife and press down to crush it on your cutting board and that's gonna release it and make it really easy to peel out of its shell. I like to also give it a quick rough chop before throwing it into the food processor to get it ready to go. So next, to prepare your cilantro before just throwing it in, be sure to pick the leaves off of the stems. You don't really want the stems in there because it's gonna give it a weird texture. So the leaves are the key to our recipe. Pick those off, we'll give those a fine chop as well and then throw those into your food processor. Next, onto the lime. Sometimes it can be really hard to squeeze the juices out of like a fresh lime or lemon. So a quick tip is roll it on the cutting board first. That'll help get all of those juices released. Then when you chop it in half and squeeze it over your food processor, all the juices will come out super easy. Next, to finish things off, you can just throw in a little pinch of salt. Now what you're gonna wanna do is give your food processor a couple good pulses. We kind of want the texture for this layer of your guacamole to be a pretty fine dice. So now that you're finished with that layer, go ahead and leave it sitting. It's gonna get more flavor if it kind of marinates in on itself. And we're gonna move on to chopping the white onion. Now if you want some more tips on how to cut an onion without crying, check out the card above. I have a video prep for you to help out. So a quick tip with the onion that you're using in the recipe, you really can use any kind of onion you want. I personally choose white onion because it's a little bit sweeter. But if you wanted to go with something a little bit more spicy, a red onion would be a really great option. So what we're gonna do is get that white onion chopped and then we're gonna get it into the food processor. After that, let's move on to cutting our jalapenos. These are one of my favorite things to add into guacamole because I do like a little spice. If you don't, feel free to leave this part out. But what we're gonna do to break these down is take them on your cutting board, we're gonna cut off the end and then we're gonna slice them in half and if you turn them face up, you can get the tip of your knife inside the jalapeno and just scrape out the seeds. Removing the seeds does help kind of tone down the spice level. So once you have the seeds removed, go ahead and give it a quick chop and then throw that into your food processor as well. And then you can pulse together the onions and jalapenos to get them blended in with the rest of the ingredients. From a consistency standpoint, feel free to make this part of the recipe your own. I personally like smaller pieces of onion and jalapeno in my dip, but if you like larger chunks, feel free to do fewer pulses and this will keep the chunks larger for your recipe. So now enter in the star of the show, my personal favorite, the avocado. Feel free to stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna teach you how to pick out the perfectly ripe avocado for your recipe. But in the meantime, these babies look great. And complete side note, Tony actually hates avocados and completely hates guacamole, so he's not gonna be enjoying this after this video. I need to rally an army behind me. If you're with me on how amazing avocados is, comment below, avocado lover for life, and just be with me on my team, please. So let's prep the avocado to get it ready for the food processor. What you're gonna do is cut the avocado in half, Hold your avocado vertical, put the tip of your knife in, and run it along using the seed as a guide until you get it completely in half, and then grabbing both sides of the avocado and giving it a quick twist will pull it apart. Now moving on to taking out that pesky avocado seed, what I like to do is just flick the blade of the knife into the pit and give it a twist. It should pop right out for you. Make sure you watch your hands and your fingers while you're like throwing this blade around. 
avocados can be pretty slippery, so stay safe out there. Now to really elevate this recipe, go ahead and throw in your sour cream. If you don't have any sour cream around the house, I've also used cream cheese or even a little olive oil to kind of get that creamy texture in there. Now you're ready to start mixing everything together. Give your food processor a few pulses. Make sure you stop and scrape down anything that gets caught up on the sides. I usually do maybe three or four pulses. I kind of like my guacamole to be a little bit chunkier, but if you like a thinner texture on your guacamole, feel free to pulse it a few more times until you get the texture you want. So as always, give your guacamole a quick taste. If you want to add some more flavoring in, a little bit of garlic powder is amazing, and then also some extra salt will probably do. I usually will put some in at the end for myself. So now your guacamole should be ready to go to serve up and enjoy. On to that pro tip I talked about. What's hard about making guacamole the day of is going to the grocery store and finding perfectly ripe avocados to use. Literally today, before making this video, I was doing that exact thing, and the chick next to me in the grocery store was like feeling all of them, just like I was, and she commented to me like, this is a fun game, isn't it? And I'm like, yeah, literally, it's like annoying to find the perfectly ripe avocado. So, my tip for you is if you feel them, you want them to be a little bit squishy, for lack of a better term, and once you find one that feels good, you will look to see the little stem on top, and if you pick that off and the skin inside is yellow, not green, then your avocado will be ripe and ready to go. So there you have it, your perfect creamy guacamole recipe. I hope you don't have to eat this alone like I will be because Tony refuses to eat avocados with me. I hope you get to eat it with all of your friends. If you wanna be my friend, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I will see you next time. Goodbye.